We're here to solve this classic Sudoku even odd squares. You'll see the two by two pattern that has all evens or all odds. It means in some of these squares, we actually have all the odds given. This box and this box look like that. So we just have to place the remaining even numbers, two, four, six, eight, two, four, six, and eight. Another thing that this pattern does is you'll have cases where you've got um, horizontally two odds and vertically two odds. And once we have the evens going, there are a fair number of naked singles. One of them I'm seeing right now with this one nine and this three seven is there's a five that must be there. Finishing up this row, we've got two, three, seven to place and there's a two and three above. So the seven goes in here. Another place where I'm seeing that kind of pattern is this three seven with this five nine. And uh, I don't see, if I look for one nine, I'm looking for like three, seven and five. And the only one that's there is like this. So this three, seven and this five, nine is a good place to scan. And again, gives a naked single, which gives a last nine. We've got a little more work to actually make full headway in the grid. I'll just mark in some things I know for sure. Um, this one gave this one, which is actually helpful. That puts nine and three and nine in the grid, puts in this nine, puts in this nine, puts in this nine, and this nine. Got the last one over here, um, filling in this. We've got three, four, seven at the top, sorry, uh, three, six, seven at the top. The seven is on the far right. Six is here, three is here, puts in a three, puts in a two. We've got five and eight to go here. The eight's to the right, the five is to the left. Those two eights give this eight, gives this eight. We've got three, five here. We've got two, seven here. Um, four is going to finish out the space, which puts in this four. We've got uh, the three coming across to give this three, last three, three with five. This seven comes across, puts in this seven, which puts seven two, puts in a two for ping pong. We got five and six to go, and six, five, puts in this five, six. We need another five, puts in a four, and the last digits are five and seven. And that finishes the puzzle. So it Depending on how you're good with standard Sudoku steps, it could have been a little harder than a Tuesday, but very much the pattern with evens and odds set up not just only these boxes that had basically the evens left to place, but set up some spaces for naked singles. This five and this one uh, were pretty key early in the solve. They eventually give numbers like this seven, uh, this one giving the middle box, which then fills in the rest, like this nine sort of works around the grid. So different ways to scan through puzzles, but sometimes if you're stuck by looking for hidden things, go to the naked things and look for um, examples where you've got, in this case, scanning four odds that were pointing towards single cells with a, with a single digit left over. So hope you learned a little bit about uh, this puzzle, the background of me writing it, and I'll see you again soon.